Well, I was trained as a applied statistician and psychometrician. That's what my doctorate's in, in the area of education psychology. Psychometrics, which is the mathematical models underlying creation of tests, like student achievement tests, there have been many advances in that field, and they are being implemented uh, almost immediately by the testing industry. Just to bring it down to really concrete terms is, I give a test in 2009, I give a test in 2010, I don't want to use exactly the same test with exactly the same items, but I want to be able to make comparisons from 2009 to 2010, psychometric problem, how do you do the equating to make sure that you've got a valid comparison. That's just a concrete, practical example of the kind of problems that psychometricians work on and solve. The National Governors Association and the Council of Chief State School Officers got together and uh, uh, came out with uh, standards for every grade K through 12 leading up to the grade 12 standard being readiness for college in those two core subjects. And the U.S. Department of Education has funded two multi-state consortia to build new assessment systems aligned with these common core standards. So uh, one question is just how what's in the common core standards and how are they alike and different from the state standards we have now? How are they alike and different from the state's tests that we have now? How much change is involved for a state that commits itself to saying I'm doing the common core standards? Is it like a sea change? Is it like tinkering on the edge? Current state content standards and current state tests are poorly aligned despite the fact that the law requires that they be aligned. And that is variable across states, but generally poor, and sometimes so poor as to almost no alignment at all. So it suggests that when we get around to building assessments of these common core standards, we better do something different than we have been doing with the state tests. Otherwise, we're not going to have the level of alignment we want. So, and I could go on and on and on. So there's a lot at play now, and it all surrounds these issues of alignment and, of course, psychometric quality. Are we happy with our tests right now? Are you happy with our tests right now? No. Am I happy with our tests right now? No. We need to do it the best we possibly can. People who are moving the psychometric solutions to those problems forward are going to play a key role in making sure we have high quality achievement data. And I'd like to see us have some assessments that are really well aligned. I actually have uh, just recently uh, invented a procedure for building tests that are, for the length that they are, the number of items, maximally aligned to content standards. I'm very excited about this. I hope it's going to be a big breakthrough for the industry and I'm hoping that I can get it out and get it in the right hands in time for it maybe to be used uh, in this new generation of student achievement testing. Okay, hi, I'm Andy Porter. I'm at the Graduate School of Education at the University of Pennsylvania.